Hi all! In this video we will see how to make seamless textures and also how to create the much needed displacement and bump maps. I have this bedroom and I want to apply a stone texture on the wall behind the bed. And I found on the web this texture that I really like. I will go to 3ds Max, create a Corona physical material, assign my texture to the diffuse map, and apply it on the wall. Let's do a render. So, although I got excited with this texture, unfortunately it doesn't look either good or realistic in 3ds Max. First off, we can see the tiling of the texture, by tiling I mean the way it repeats, plus it doesn't look three-dimensional. To make this stone look perfect, we need to use a software or a plugin called Pixplant. I said software or plugin because we can use it both ways which means use it as a plugin in Photoshop or use it as a standalone software. Go to their website and start with the free trial version to see if this works for you. To buy it, the cost is $39 and I can understand that this may look like a lot of money, but when you see what you can achieve, I am sure you will realize that it's totally worth its money. At uh, this point, I would like to clarify that this is not a pet partnership. I just found out about this and immediately thought that I should share it with you. So, once you download it, run the .exe file. I will use it through Photoshop, but as I mentioned earlier, if you don't have Photoshop, don't worry, simply run the software. The steps are the same. I will open my stone in Photoshop and then I will go to the menu filter, Pixplant, Pixplant 5. As you can see here, I also have the trial version as I just tried the software. I will choose Evaluate and then choose Base Color Map. On the left side, we see a preview of the texture and we can also notice here the issue we have with the tiling of this texture. I will go to the tiling rollout and now we can clearly see the problem this image has when it gets repeated. I will click on the select drop-down list and choose use current map. Then I will click on generate. It automatically transforms our image to a seamless one. Every time we press the Generate button, we get a new seamless image. I really like this one, so I will save it. File, Save Base Color As, click on the three dots button and choose its name and where to save it. If I now click on the Extract 3D Maps button, we see a few options. I want to create a displacement map and a normal map, so I will enable these two and press Start. You can see on the preview that our image got three-dimensional, but it's not really correct since now the seams go the opposite direction, the stone goes inside and the seams outside. To adjust that, I will go to the displacement and click on the invert surface button. Then I will go to the normal and in the extract rollout I will select displacement map. Now it's perfect. I will save the two textures
and go to 3ds Max to load them. I am so impressed. I find it so, so beautiful and with no effort at all. Can't wait to see your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in my next video.